What's up? Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be going over some random gadgets, cat stuff, home stuff, just all kinds of stuff I found on Sheen and I want to see if it really works. The stuff I found was super, 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 super affordable in pricing. So I'm just curious if it's a gimmick or not and I want to try it out. So that's what you're in for today. However, I will say the stuff I bought is like so random, so random. That's what the website does to me. Whenever I go on there, I just see the most random stuff and I'm like, yes, I need you. I even got some stuff for my cats too you know? So that's what this video is about. And be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave, if you want to. <laughs> and join my YouTube fam jam. Thank you guys for being here. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. <laughs> All right, the first item is kind of super random, as I said in the intro, but it was so cute. I wanted to see what it looked like in person, and it cost me $2.50, so I grabbed it. And it's and you're probably like, what is that, ma'am? And this is a pencil bag, which is so random, like I said, but look how cute this is. It's actually just like it looks online. So I'm really impressed with this for $2.50. I think this is super cute. And what I also like about this is that it's lined. So when something's lined like this, you can now use it for makeup because makeup gets so messy, so dirty as you makeup lovers, you know. So now you can put your makeup brushes in this. You can put your eyeliners, mascaras when traveling. And I just think it makes the cutest little bag this Sherpa, Sherpa, I believe it's called. The Sherpa vibes are so in, and I actually adore the print. So they had it in light tan, dark brown, or navy blue. Those are the color choices, and I would say we have a win. Okay, I went ahead and put some makeup products in it. I just put like a bunch of my liners and mascaras in it. A pretty big handful, and I think you could probably fit like a couple more items, but I'm gonna zip it up just to show you guys. Look, I already got makeup on it. Already, this is what I'm talking about, and now you could flip it inside out and throw it in the wash. All right, and there you have it, all zipped up with all those products in it, and just combines everything, so it makes it so easy to pack. And again, you can use this for makeup brushes too, so I would say for $2.50, this is such a win. I really want that light tan one now, so I can have two of them. So cute. Okay, our next item came in this little box right here. It was $3 and it is a seven grid random pill thingamabob. So it comes in green, pink, dark pink, and blue. I picked the green. I love this color actually so much. So it's kind of cool because it has a little magnet in the middle and then the, it closes like this. So you can put all of your different medicines or pills in there to travel if you're trying to keep them in order. And then they combine like so tight, so great for travel. I would personally use this for storage of like bobby pins, little rubber bands and hair accessories maybe even pills if you need to put some stuff in there or like create a little first aid kit with some Tylenols and like some band-aids, little sticker band-aids or something like that would be good for this. So I think you could actually use this for so much more than just pills. And just to show you, they just, the little flaps just open like that. So I'm gonna put some of my hair accessories in here and show you guys. Okay guys, just to show you how I set mine up, this is how I would do it if I wanted to put this in my purse or like keep this in my purse as like a little travel kit for any little hair needs that I have. Or if I was just traveling and wanted to bring, you know, I could fit more in these little sections, but if I wanted to bring my mini rubber bands, some clips, some bobby pins and different hair accessories, how cute is this for that? And it just gets so compact. So that's really what I would probably use this for. I honestly wanna just like put this in my purse so I have all the hair stuff I need at all times. So cute, so worth the money. I also love the color. Okay, our next item is this thing with Bob and it kind of looks like one of those things that you like pee in for girls that you can pee in public. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know what I mean. It actually kind of looks like a cup for guys. Why does it look like things like that? It's none of those things, but I can tell you it's $2 and it works on your sink, which we have to go into my bathroom for me to show you because I don't have the right type of sink for it to work on in my kitchen. I also have dirty dishes in my kitchen that I don't want you to see, but I still don't have that type of sink. But in my bathroom here, I do. Welcome to my bathroom powder room and these are my favorite soaps. Okay, this is not time for a tour, can't help myself. I was starting to get into that, but anyways, so this is what it is. I'm like, wait, I need to go look at the instructions. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I've done my research and I figured out how to put it on. So basically, oh, it's supposed to go like this and like the water is supposed to like come out further. So if a person is shorter and can't reach the sink or am I doing this wrong? Ty. It does not work. Don't. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsies, it worked. I mean, oh actually, no. Okay, there, there you is. go. 
actually it does kind of work. Okay. People are gonna be like, we're in a drought. Wait. <laughs> Turn it off. What's the point in this? Wait, it makes the water come out further if you have a little person, like a child, oh, who needs okay. to reach to wash their hands. Gotcha. I mean, we're talking about two inches here. Yeah. Kind of pointless, but. No. Two dollars. Alrighty, for our next item, Tyler is preparing the orange. This is a stainless steel fruit peeler. I'm about to open it. It came in like this, and it cost one dollar. So if this doesn't work, we're out a dollar. I can't even open the thing. Give me that. This is why God gave you tea. Here's our orange, and you're supposed to be able to just like jab it in and like peel the orange. Do you this wear could it like be a given. Ring? Yeah, you just put on like a ring. No. Yes. Okay. Now you like jam it in the top and pull down. Like no, look how they're wearing it actually. Oh. Wrong, you don't wear like a ring. That's my no. bad. So it looks like they're doing it like this. And you go. Did it get it started or? Oh, okay. <gasps> Why is it? Oh, it's it's on your face. Me. Yeah. How do you feel? I mean, I would never use this. <laughs> I feel like I really do struggle when I have nails on. Like seriously, I struggle to get an orange started and that I would actually use that. I, I mean, it's pretty cool. It does what you expect it to do. Just slices it. Yeah. Let me show you how I open oranges. No, let me get you on a canine right it's there. It's my guy gave you teeth. Ew. I just bite it and then it opens. <laughs> Let's go ahead and rate this. Even though we didn't rate. Look, it's like a little blade on there. Just so you guys see. It's like a little blade and it starts the peeling of your fruit. Cute. I mean, it did what it said it was gonna do, so. So we have to give it a nine out of 10. Nine's a lot. So our next item is this heavy duty tape where you're supposed to be able to hang pictures and hold heavy stuff with it. It was $3, so I need to see how heavy of something you can hold. BRB. All right, so it doesn't let us know how heavy of an item it can hold. That makes me nervous. We're just gonna take a cutting board and hang it on the wall because who doesn't need a cutting board on the wall? It's like a really thick, gooey material. I'm just gonna cut off a nice piece. Double-sided? Oh, it must be, yeah. Has to be double-sided, right? That's yep, there it goes. Makes sense. I'm okay. gonna stick it on this first or the wall first? I guess that. So now at this point, it gets really like stretchy. So just FYI, it's not sticking to me. Well, it doesn't stick to wood, guys. <laughs> really? It's not sticking at all? All right, not wood. It said pick something else. Let's try another piece. All right, we already failed. Try again. I'm just gonna do this. All right, now he's determined to stick it to the cutting board. How much would you say this it's cutting board weighs? Probably about a pound or less. Dang. Definitely less than a pound. All right, now you're gonna peel the other side off. You got it? Three hours later. Yeah, I got it. Okay, yeah. There and we now go. we're gonna give it a go. Seem like a good place for a cutting board? Seems fantastic. <sighs> this is Tyler decorating our home. Look at that. hi -o! <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave that there, and if it stays for the rest of the video, we'll follow up at the end. Then we know we got a real winner here. It would probably be a bad idea over the stove because it would heat up over there and cause I it mean, to melt. I mean, you got these over the stove. No, I mean, like, it would cause the adhesive to, like, get melted. Mm, yeah, I see what you're saying now. But you this is correct. just a test run. We hang everything else with nails in our house. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, I brought some cat accessories just because I need it to know. I've always wondered and I need to know. They also have the pet she inside where they have tons of stuff. I highly recommend in the automatic water filter for your cats. They love that stuff. And the little chomp chomp. Y'all know what I she got. That. <laughs> but I didn't buy any of that because we already had it. But I did buy a flamingo for my cat's <laughs> This is going to be humiliating. For is, them. Yeah. <laughs> Boo -boo's that. But I also bought this really nice cat bed. Let me see how much it was. Boo boo, you ready? These were $4 and $4.50. We're going to see if any of my cats want to win. <laughs> Want is a word. <laughs> and humiliate themselves. Baby, I feel like the full <laughs> All right, baby. here we go. All right, so he's going to tolerate us because he's hungry right now. He's not hungry. Tyler. Well, he's never hungry, actually. Oh, boo boo. <laughs> there we go. His little ears. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so bad. How humiliating, baby. Oh, booby. You want mommy taken. <laughs> Come here. Stand no, up. you don't humiliate him. <laughs> boo boo. All right, he's getting <laughs> he's getting cat treats. <laughs> Look at this. Boo boo, you're so much better than this. Boo Come boo. Here, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't like it oh, with your cute little ear. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, all right, they hate it. Great. All right, you earned some cat treats. All right, yeah, it gets cat kitty treats. Get the kitty treats. Okay, next, I bought this cat bed for my cats, and it was $12. I'm most excited for this because that's about how much this stuff costs whenever you go to TJ Maxx or Home Goods. And these are like their favorite things ever with the cardboard bottoms. If you don't want your cat scratching your furniture, or you have an issue with that, like that's happening in your home, I highly suggest you put multiple little cardboard beds around because they will definitely switch to using these instead. And I'm gonna show you a trick right now how to get them into these if they are kind of ignoring them around your house. All right, so this is the trick. It's just catnip. The name is hilarious. I get this stuff off of Amazon and it doesn't take much at all to get them attracted. So let me show you guys. It just takes a little, sometimes I accidentally dump too much, but I put a little bit like that in there. Get crack. And then you can also just put cat treats. What's that, boom boom? What's that? They love these beds. The Watch them just get right out of it. You're <laughs> our pain actor today. You are. Oh yes. There we go. And you really don't have to do anything. You just have to show them. <laughs> he loves it. Look at how he just made himself so comfy. Thank you, bed buddy. Loving my handsome. They got these beds all over the house. He's got some, literally one right there that needs to be thrown away. This one's a really good one. I knew they would love it. They love when they have edges for them to cuddle in. That's when it's their favorite. Oh, he's so. gonna be sleeping in this. Oh yeah. So 10 out of 10, if you have a cat, get some catnip and get one of these beds. And I'm telling you, your cat is going to be obsessed. It is their favorite thing. I knew he would just pop right into it right whenever we did it. How handsome is he? You are so cute. Boo Boo is not a huge cat. And if you look at the picture here, <gasps> whoa, that you're doesn't so look like right. that doesn't look like a kitten. So oh my the sizing's a little bit off. The sizing's definitely off because that is huge. And then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he fills out that thing. There's no way. He's and he is not a very big cat, so. But cats actually like smaller beds like this so they can get really cozy in them. They like to be in tight spaces. So it, it kind of works out better that it's small, but just something to note. No, Tyler, no. Good boy. No. You're so Wait, wait, wait. You gotta put this so, one on. No, make Lou. Make, 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 make Yoshi. Where is she? Where is she? You wanna smell it and get familiar with the pippin? Make it work. Oh, uh, yeah, she's taking it. She <laughs> likes it. Hold on, Mom. Oh, Mom. yeah, she definitely likes it. <laughs> no, she lives. <laughs> Show Dad. Turn Show Daddy how cute. <laughs> <laughs> you did. It's just on her she neck. Her it doesn't have ear holes. Did you see the way they had it on the other cat? It, Here, let she me doesn't adjust have it. ear holes. Let me adjust it. You hold the camera. <laughs> Look at her walk around with a dookie on it. Oh, big girl. No. It doesn't All right. fit. This her. is how they had it with, on the other cat. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. Take that off my baby. She's chilling. <laughs> Tell her she is so. She's like the calmest yeah, cat we have. She loves her, any attention she can get. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, she has to wear the flamingo one. We can't <laughs> not put that on her. Shoot. There you go. Look at her. She loves the attention. You see. Where'd you put it, babe? Oh, this mommy's pretty girl. Look at that angel. You look so cute. I feel like she loves it. <laughs> nope. She's trying to figure out what's on her head. You'll see what did he put on you? What did he do, baby? I can't, I had to take it off of him. I only let it on for a second because they're patient. <laughs> Thank you. Our next item was $1. And it is a decal for your mirror. I just wanted to get it in and see like, does it really work? But I feel like if you were like decorating a teen's room or sometimes at like an event, a birthday party or something, you might want to decorate your bathroom, your powder room. This you could look be amazing. Cute. It says you look amazing. Daily affirmations. So right. we're gonna Should try Should we go out. put it on Erin's bathroom? What, show what you're doing. Wall. Let's definitely go put it on her bathroom. Our bathroom mirror? Yeah, she's gonna scream. <laughs> All right, here is Erin's bathroom and we're just gonna, Up yep. top? Are you gonna remove this if she doesn't want this? Yeah. What, what's up with S401? Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't press that on. You're joking. Look, the L and look is kind of messed up. I wanna make sure it's straight. Gorgeous. Now, 401, time to peel. I can't do it. You gotta, you have to peel this part off now, right? Yeah, that's how you would take it off. Are you checking? Oh, I thought it was like a cutout. No. <gasps> so you would have to cut that off for sure. And then I think it would look okay, but you can definitely see 
some of this outlining because it looks a little more matte if you can see like this so it's not like a clean clear cut out sticker but it's pretty cute i mean it was a dollar tyler a okay. dollar yeah there we go <gasps> you got it okay so this is actually great huh i take back what i said there you go all right well then this is like 10 out of 10 for a dollar this is actually working out really well oh just oh. gotta pick <laughs> off that one and four baby and then this is so cute all right i take back everything i said it's actually really cool thank you for a dollar for a dollar you can't beat this it actually kind of looks cute up there yeah i think Aaron will probably want to keep it wow Okay guys, so I wanted to show you guys this traveling jewelry holder I got for $4 and it looks kind of similar to the one I got off Horizons. They have really cute jewelry if you want to check them out. But you can also get these on Amazon. They cost a bit more like around $12 to $13 on Amazon. So this one's four, so you're saving quite a bit of money, but I just want to show you the difference. You can take these out so you can fit like as much stuff, customize it. And so you can take those in and out. I already lost one because it came with two of these that went straight across. But anyways, it looks like this. And what's cool about this one is it does have a mirror, which I don't, I guess I don't really use the mirror as much, but this one doesn't. But this one, the mirror part folds down and you get kind of like the same contraption here. You hook your necklaces on here and then drop them in here to help them prevent from getting tangled. So that is pretty much the big difference. And then here you just get two bars and then here it's a four bar, but you can also remove these if you wanted to use this as like a one bar cross or you could take them both out for a bigger space. Just depends on what you need to store in here for travel. But either way, I think this is definitely worth four dollars i actually adore the color of it it's like this creamy ivory color and it's really pretty and then you can hold all your rings here so in my opinion i just think that this is well worth the four dollars it feels a lot lighter than this one this one feels a lot more luxe i will say just holding them and the zipper on this one's a bit stronger than this one so be a little careful with that but this one does zip really smoothly so overall i would say yes this is definitely worth four dollars and by the way these are so handy every single time I travel I always put my earrings jewelry all of it in here and it really helps to prevent it from getting tangled so this is a definite win alrighty guys for our next item is an anti-slip rug when I saw it in the picture I actually thought wow that cannot be eight dollars because it looks so pretty I'll put the picture over here so you can see um, and then it came in and actually like unfolding it it's pretty big so that's a pretty big rug and it does look like it did online like the coloring and everything looks the exact same and one of my favorite things about it which a lot of my expensive rugs don't have is that it actually does have the anti slip grip on it and i have paid fortunes for some rugs around here and they don't actually even have the anti-slip you have to buy a separate rug pad or the stickers from amazon to put on the base of it so it doesn't slide around so i'm pretty excited to put this down and just see what it looks like i placed it here i think i'm actually gonna put it in my garage area ignore my socks right now i'm wearing boots later on but it still has some creasing in it i do think these creases would fall out the more it gets stepped on and the more it gets used i also really like the colors and the pattern on it because it will hold heavy foot traffic without looking like staining because there's so much design so i would say this is a win and it doesn't slide anywhere and i mean just to show you the sides it's definitely not a super thick rug but there's definitely some cushioning to it so it doesn't feel very thick i would honestly for eight dollars and this is truly exactly what it looked like online i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 honey not a bad deal i think this would actually be really cute going uh horizontally in a doorway so cute our next item is a home decor item and i have bought something similar to this on shein before but it's these wooden beats which have become quite popular but quite expensive at most home stores these were six dollars so i'm going to show you how i would use these and how i do use these decorating my house and i love the feel that it gets because it creates layering and this is a really affordable way to get these i just hit myself in the face i'm really good at doing that i hit myself in the face in like every video but anyways i'm gonna show you how i use these so maybe you can get some inspo with your anal beads just kidding okay i just have this set up on my coffee table and what you can do is just kind of layer them around and let them drape out of the bowl something like that would be really cute i might even let it drape a little more or something just play around with it till it gets to your liking like that that's one way to 
use them and as you can see it creates kind of layering around here or i'll show you another way you can use these so i have this huge delicious suntal candle and it's just sitting here so another way you can do these is you could either just like drape them through and kind of leave them like that if this isn't a heavy use area it'd be cute like this but you could also kind of loop them around and let them loosely fall I think it's always really pretty like that. And I'll show you, I have some of these in another room. You could actually make them tighter. This is a little bit too much, you know? Anyways, you could just play with it. But these are super cute for layering. Let me show you how I have them in my other living room. So this is some that I got from Target, which I put in this bowl. And then up here, these are a little bit bigger, but they look really cute in there. And then this is another bowl I have them draping out of. So here's some inspo. These are actually the Shein ones and they look really great. All right, for our last item, I thought this, this was in my Shein pile and I did my research because I looked at my past order and I couldn't find the price on it. And that's because it's actually from Amazon and it was put in the wrong pile. But I thought I would try it out anyways because this is an interesting gadget. Although, reminder, it's from Amazon, not Shein. And this is $12. So I saw this on TikTok actually and this is what it is you're probably like i don't understand i went ahead and filled it up but anyways it is a container and you pop the top off and you have four different travel bottles in here so four different items that you might want to use whether it's your skincare your toner your makeup remover your moisturizer and your face wash you put in here it says you put sunscreen just any liquid products that you're traveling with and so you pull this out there's four of these in there and you unscrew them and you fill them up so they're like little mini size okay then then you just slide it back in there and you want to make sure your nozzle is in the little groove right there and you can just press it down so you should be able to put four of whatever and what's extra cute about this is they give you labels so you can remember whenever your bottle's like this what is what in there sunscreen is on one of the labels so i'm going to go ahead that one's sunscreen so i went ahead and added the sticker a little crooked but that's okay so now i'm going to try it out because i haven't actually tried it out and then this part turns so whatever side you need I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lid on. The lid snaps on really easy. And now let's do a little bit of the sunscreen. Probably gotta get it going because I just put it in there. Okay, here we go. Actually, that only took me like two seconds. I'll say the squirter on it. It's just a hair bit messy, but not really a big deal. So that worked out really well. And then the other one, I put some of my cool down moisturizer for if you get a little bit too much sun. So we're just gonna try it out to see if it works there. Do you see how it can get a little messy? So here's the cool down. And I guess maybe you would have, well, no, because it's, it's each individual pump, so the product really probably wouldn't mix. There we go. See how it kind of like just runs down the front? So I would say that's my only note on it, but mm, this smells really good. <laughs> but anyways, that worked out, and this does get a little messy, so. And then there is a side where you can like leave it like that to close it, and then you'll have all your travel stuff in it. So this is pretty cute. I definitely think it's worth 12 bucks, and I like how it has stickers, and then you can like easily refill these with as much as you want. So four different items in this one thing would definitely save you a ton of space in travel. So yeah. Amazon in our Shein video, what's happening? Okay, I just want to say that it's, it's been, the the it's been three days that. later. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It is like 12 hours later, maybe like eight hours later. Oh, she's on there. Oh my God. No, tell her that doesn't look good. <laughs> Please. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching. Be sure and smash that subscribe button before you leave and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.